I'm Dan Galpin for Now on Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. Today, we have Android 16 QPR2 Beta 1, the Android Studio Narwhal feature drop, Jetpack Compose 1.9, Media 3 1.8, Shape Morphing and Autofill and Compose, and much more. The first beta of Android 16 QPR2 is now available, the inaugural Android release with an Android Minor SDK version. It includes new APIs that extend platform features, but cannot introduce target SDK version gated behavior changes, minimizing the amount you need to test your apps against it. Highlights of the release include an expanded dark theme feature that can intelligently invert light-themed apps to improve accessibility and battery life, a new interactive chooser session that keeps your app's UI active while the share sheet is open, support for annotating and editing PDF documents, support for automatically generating monochrome-themed app icons, a new display topology API that provides information on how multiple displays are arranged, new UI automation APIs that enable you to take screenshots on non-default displays, alignment warnings on 4KB devices for non-16KB page-aligned apps that are debuggable and installed by ADB, capturing background system traces that have occurred before the request takes place, and that's just some of what's new. Android 16 QPR2 is targeted to release in Q4 of this year. Also, on the same day, Google introduced the new Pixel lineup, and we released the third Android Canary release. The Android Studio Narwhal feature drop is available in the Stable channel, with support for Gemini and Android Studio Agent Mode to tackle complex multi-step coding tasks. The rules in Prompt Library to customize Gemini's output for your project's standards. Transform Preview with Gemini that uses natural language to iterate on Compose UI. Support for immersive development with the embedded XR Android emulator, a new XR project template, and the embedded layout inspector for XR. Android Partner Device Labs with Android Device Streaming, giving you remote access to a fleet of physical devices from our OEM partners, including Samsung, Xiaomi, Oppo, OnePlus, and Vivo. Better Compose Preview with improved code navigation and a new Compose Preview Picker. Faster performance with the next-gen K2 Kotlin compiler enabled by default. Lint warnings, analysis, and an emulator to help you prepare for new 16KB page size devices and more. Also, Android Studio is transitioning to a monthly stable release cadence to speed up getting you new features and critical bug fixes. Jetpack Compose 1.9 is now stable. This release introduces modifier.dropshadow and inner shadow for rendering box shadow effects, on visibility changed and on first visible modifiers for tracking element visibility, output transformations using text field buffer.add style, lazy layout cache window to enhance prefetching for improved lazy layout performance, scrollable 2D to enable scrolling, flinging, and nested scrolling in 2D, along with bug fixes and new features to improve scroll and nested scroll views interop. Composer.set diagnostic stack trace enabled to help provide richer crass location details in stack traces in your debug builds. New annotations, lint checks, and more. We released Media 3 1.8, which includes support for a new scrubbing mode in ExoPlayer and the player control view that optimizes performance for frequent user driven seeks. Support for live streams and asset lists and HLS interstitials ads loader for all your server guided ad insertion needs duration retrieval without playback, and auto-closable pattern support in a significantly updated metadata retriever. Playback resumption support in the demo app, helped by better notification defaults in media session. Experimental optimizations for faster trim operations on MP4 edit lists. Chipset-specific encoder configuration optimizations in Kodak DB Lite to maximize user-perceived quality at your target bitrate and a refreshed, adaptive-first composition demo app built entirely with Kotlin and Compose that showcases a custom multi-asset video compositor. John has a new article, the first of a series providing a deep dive into high dynamic range. This one provides background into what HDR is, largely higher peak brightness, and debunking common myths along the way. Google Play's hashtag WeArePlay initiative is spotlighting apps tackling environmental and sustainability challenges, including Bulra, which turns park visits into immersive gamified adventures, CyberTracker that helps preserve indigenous knowledge for modern conservation efforts, and Earth5R, which builds career paths in the green economy for aspiring environmentalists. Rebecca covered how Androidify achieved its transition between the photo button and the camera screen in advanced shared elements with shape morphing. 
Zoe, covered how to consume a runtime-enabled SDK, explaining how runtime-enabled SDKs execute in the sandbox, how you can load them, and how to render their UI. In Wear OS Material 3 Shape Morphing, Kiara demonstrated how to add animated shape changes in Jetpack Compose to buttons and button groups, along with vertically scrolling lists where items scale and morph as they approach the screen edges. On the Android Developers Backstage podcast, Tor and Chet joined Melba and Ralston from the Compose team to discuss Autofill, how it works with Compose, and how Jetpack Compose 1.8 offloads autofill logic from the app by using Compose's semantic system to provide content type information. Here are some of the many changes to Android Jetpack. Jetpack Compose 1.10 Alpha 1 introduces a new Retain API, which has a shorter life cycle than Remember Savable, similar to a view model. Enhanced Shared Elements APIs that provide more control over shared element transitions. Auto clear focus on mouse, touchpad pointer down in Compose view. Improved window insets operability and information. More precise control over text line heights. Improved pager prefetching. Double tap to select words and more. The Lifecycle Library adds a new composable that allows you to create scoped composable lifecycle owner instances directly within the UI tree, which is useful for managing component lifecycles independently. The new core backported fixes library allows you to check if critical platform level bug fixes have been applied to a device, enabling you to offer different user experiences depending on whether a known bug is resolved. The games libraries now support 16 KB page sizes by default, and mouse support has been added to game activity. That's it for today. We covered the first ever Android release with a minor Android SDK, Android 16 QPR2, the Android Studio Narwhal feature drop, Jetpack Compose 1.9, Media 3 1.8, Shape Morphing, Autofill and Compose, Android X changes, and much more. Remember to like, subscribe, share, stay safe, and come back soon for the latest updates from the Android developer universe.